Well, they are everywhere, seemingly nonstop. Those campaigns and special interest groups who are flooding phones with political texts, and a lot of vo voters say they kind of get annoyed by this. Yeah, so how did they even get your number? Fox 10's Lauren Clark joins us live to explain. Lauren. Hey there, guys. Well, group, cyber group, I should say, data doctors say this can happen in a lot of different ways, right? You might have volunteered for a political campaign. You could have signed up for a political survey, or you could have donated money to a political cause. But this is also common. You could have been given your number to some type of business online that then gave it out to a third party. You actually do that when you sign up for some types of services and that really long list of terms of services a lot of us don't even read fully. But whatever way these groups got your number, a lot of people say they are certainly fed up with it. It's consistent. I'd say like twice a week I get a political text message. Constant. At least five or six a day. And irritating. Yeah, to the point it's oversaturation. Political text messages from both sides of the aisle flooding phones. I've never seen it so bad. Somehow, like two years ago, I escaped it. Now, I cannot open my phone without multiple texts and multiple emails and multiple calls. Political strategist Stan Barnes with Copper State Consulting says there's a reason why you see them. It's a swing state and there's $800 million being spent trying to convince you to vote one way or the other. With a specific strategy behind the text. And that kind of communication is so inexpensive so that the barrier to entry is low for campaigns. That's why everyone does it because it's cheap and they get right to the individual voter. But do they actually work? Voters don't seem to think so. I would say the majority have already made up their mind. I don't think a text message is going to sway someone's opinion necessarily. But Barnes says the goal isn't to persuade voters into one camp over another. Instead, it's about name identification. They remember the name. And sometimes it's a negative reaction. Like, I remember that guy who pestered me on my phone and I'm not going to vote for him. And other times it's like, I don't know who to vote for. This guy's been reaching out to me, this campaign, so I guess I'll vote for them. But voters like David can't wait for it all to come to an end. Um, I don't like any message on my phone that are unsolicited, um, so I could, I could do without it. All right, so the question remains, how do you get rid of these types of tax? Well, experts warn it can be a little tricky because they're not subject to the no call registry. However, they do say one trick you can use is every time you use your number online, try to use some type of burner number, whether that's a Google service that you can use and that will really help filter out these unwanted tax messages. Reporting live here in Phoenix, Lauren Clark, Fox 10 News.